Hey guys, I'm sure you already know that I'm in the middle of doing my India series. So I wanted to hop back on here. I'm back in LA and I wanted to kind of like talk you guys through the next couple of videos. From Varanasi, we took an overnight train to Agra, the home of the Taj Mahal. Uh, and this was a shorter ride for us, although because of fog and all of these delays in the morning, we were supposed to get there at 5 a.m. and we didn't end up getting into Agra until like 11.30 a.m. So we were kind of <laughs> delayed quite a bit. We got into Agra and then immediately went for lunch with our tour group and then checked into our hotel, freshened up very quickly. Everything that day was extremely fast paced. We didn't have a lot of time to chill and relax. We went from lunch to the hotel, freshening up for an hour and then right away into our bus to get to the Taj Mahal in time. I believe the Taj Mahal closes at sunset and the sun was setting that day at around 6, 6.30 p.m. So we had to move very quickly. Then we got to the Taj Mahal we were actually extremely lucky as we did have a tour guide lead us around the Taj Mahal and share a lot of different facts with us. I'm at the Taj Mahal. <laughs> but it's right there. Oh my god. We're gonna go on a guided tour. We took an overnight train to get here. It was delayed a bunch, so we got here kind of late. But here it is. I'm here at the Taj Mahal. We just left the mausoleum area. Everything is so beautiful. The marble is so crisp, so clean, so white. And there's like intricate detailings everywhere and a lot of beautiful little art, little flowers and the like. And then there's the two tombs in the inside. Um, the, tomb, the tomb of Shah Jahan and his wife that he built all of this for. It's really beautiful and it lives up to all the expectations. Everything you've ever heard about it, it's, it is it and it's huge, beautiful. So from Agra, we then went to Jaipur, had a tour of the city and Jaipur is known as the Pink City. Um, that's what it's known as, but when you actually get there and you see all the walls and the buildings, they're not quite pink. They're actually terracotta color. And there's actually a funny story that goes along with it. But, um, Prince Albert went to visit Jaipur and visit um, the royalty and when he got there apparently he was colorblind or had some issues with his vision so when he arrived in Jaipur and saw the terracotta buildings and walls he thought that they looked pink they looked pink to him so he started calling it the pink city and he even wrote it down in a couple journals or letters something like that and then that marked the beginning of Jaipur being called the pink city when it's actually a little bit more like an orangey terracotta color which I thought to be very interesting and Jaipur is home to the Amber Fort which is beautiful there's elephants taking you up um, to the fort because it is up a hill although um, we were recommended not to ride the elephants just because elephants aren't meant to be ridden their spines can't really support it so when they're constantly carrying people all day long it really isn't good for their health at all Jaipur is also known as the city of precious and semi-precious gemstones so you can get a lot of jewelry for a good price and then from Jaipur we took another private coach to Bundi which is also in Rajasthan and is kind of like even a smaller town or smaller city feel um, than all of the other places we had been to in India. A lot of hospitality and people really cared about their city and making sure that things looked nice and stuff like that. And um, in Bundi we had the opportunity to go to a smaller village, like an actual village, and see what um, most of the population, the kind of way that most population lives in these smaller villages. So that was really, really nice. And I have some footage from that that I'd like to share with you guys. Um, and also in Bundi, they're known for their step wells, which are basically just steps that lead down to a source of water. So they would, um, in like the olden days, they would go down there to get water, um, to wash clothes, all of that kind of stuff. But now they're not really functioning, but they are considered like historical landmarks and a lot of them are just really beautiful. So um, 
those are the step wells of Bundi and they also have Bundi Fort which is a beautiful fort and it's super like in comparison to any of the other like landmarks or stuff like that that we went to it was the most chill there was barely any people there so if you want to get really good pictures or just have time to like almost be alone and you could be alone in some places that's how like not busy it was which was amazing and much needed a nice change of pace from everything else that we saw in india and then from bundi we took an overnight train back to delhi where we had just one more day which was so sad everything seemed to go by so quickly even though we were there for two weeks i absolutely loved india i want to go back and do more in the north and then also go to the south because we didn't really get to do that at all during this trip which i was really sad about but we'll just have to go back thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you liked it please subscribe for more and like it if you liked it